Hey there, I'm Lush, and today I'll be showing you how you can use the Level Up BFX for Unity. So you can just go into a blank project and import whichever render pipeline you have. Then in the scene, you can open the BFX scene outdoors, which is this one. And then if you press play, you'll be able to see that this is the Level Up effect, and you can customize the colors, the primary and secondary colors, to match whichever needs you might have for your project being golden or maybe like blue. I don't know, just up to your liking. But please keep in mind that this is just for preview purposes. If you change these colors, they won't change on the real colors of the materials. So you'll have to do it yourself because in this scene, it's being handled by this script here and it's just not gonna work in other scenes. If you go to BFX particles and you'll find here customize and test. Test is the one we use for the test. So as you can see, the last values we used for the preview are the ones that are staying here. But we don't want to use this one. We want to use the customized one. So here, for example, you find that it is the exact same thing, but it's golden, for example, okay? So now you can duplicate this one, the customized one. So set it to customize my version 01, like that. So a bit up above the ground. If not, you won't be able to see the crown bits. And now if you open up the prefab, you'll find the arrows, the base, the sparkles, the ground, wherever. So for example, let's say you want to change the color of the arrows and keep all the other elements. You can just take this arrow custom material right here, duplicate it and name it my version 01. Switch the material. And now if you change the parameters here, you can change the colors. And as you can see, the colors are now being applied to the prefab. So you can repeat this process for each element you want to modify the colors of. And also, let's say you want to just have some of the elements you want. You don't want the base, you don't want the sparkles, but you want the arrows and the ground. So you hide the other ones. And then as you can see, you've got the blue arrow. Let's change the some of the elements on the, on the ground just for learning purposes. So yeah, just duplicate this one, my version of one, move it here and change the color to be blue also. So yeah, you'll see now we've got this mixture of blues and yellows and oranges, which feels like kind of heavenly. Uh, so yeah, you, that's the way you are supposed to work with this. Uh, just create your own copies of this base customized prefab. And whenever you want to save it, you can just overwrite and apply. And yeah, so if you track this into the scene, you'll see that now it's working perfectly and you can replicate this wherever you want. So you can spawn it when the character levels up or wherever. So yeah, I hope this was useful. Any other questions, please feel free to share them in the comments or send them at info at All right, see you in the next one.